very excited to announce online lesson with the Dance Sport Live. Hello everybody, I'm Edita. I'm Mirko, hello everybody. And today we're gonna talk about personal posture required for the ballroom dancing. First, we will start for the most important thing that is very important for every kind of dance, which is your personal posture, your shoulder line, and the feeling that you have to have inside of the center. So first, the most important point, and I will give you numbers to guide you through this. So like this, you can practice it. Uh, when you're practicing at home, you can use those numbers and uh, like this you will remember how we explain the posture. So for the first number, the most important thing is to roll your shoulders back. And we're going to do it on number one. On number one, what is also very important, when you're rolling your shoulders back, your center and your abdominal muscles have to feel tight. So if you are relaxed like this, of course, it's not going to work. So we have to roll the shoulders back, same time, closing abdominal muscles and feeling how the spine is stretching. So we roll the shoulders down and we stretch the spine. On number two, what we have to do, we have to stretch our arms sideways. When we stretch our side, our arms sideways, the same moment we have to still remember number one. So stretch of the arms will be number two. And when we do number two, we have to remember number one. When we are creating this line, what is very important? Important is the stretch and the feeling that the tip of the fingers are touching one wall and touching another wall. So we have to try to feel as wide as possible, but not without number one, which would be the primary action, the roll of the shoulders down, okay? So this is, will be very important, and like this you can count it through and try it home. So we're gonna do one and two. We shouldn't lift the arms too high for this exercise. We will try to hold them, and we have to feel the 90 degree angle in your armpits. So any higher than that, we don't need. Also, we don't need any lower than that. So we'll try to make a perfect cross, okay? Then we come up to the number three. Number three is very, very important because our couple hold later that we will gonna talk in the other lectures, uh, it is formed from two people. And therefore, we have a reversed triangle. So when we have this reverse triangle, we have to take care of both sides of the triangle. So if we imagine a triangle, and we have to imagine how it should look stretched. So therefore, on number three, both man and lady, because it is personal, and we will do the same action, we will have to stretch to the left. What is very important? It is very important to understand, of course, within the proportion of the couple, how much we have to stretch to the left. Because as you know, the man has to be a little bit more vertical than the lady. Therefore, the stretch to the left of the lady is a little bit stronger than the stretch of the man. So if we will be, would like to be very, very precise, and we would talk about centimeters, so we would say like, from this number two position, man should stretch three centimeters to the left and lady will try to do five. What is very important, I will show on Mirko, that when we're doing number one, number two, and when we're gonna do number three, we're not gonna sway. So the number three has to happen extremely from the stretching, not swaying, and not destroying the shoulder line, okay? So, of course, if you can do it in front of the mirror, that would be very helpful. If you don't have a mirror, of course, sometimes can help doing videos of yourself. Yes. But the best would be mirror. Yes. 
in the in the in relation of the what the data say about the stretch is very important that our hip and our shoulder line will keep always parallel during the stretch we don't have to go in uh, with our hip or our shoulder close to each other and creating some uh, diagonal angle but our shoulder line and our hip line will maintain parallel all to this uh, kind of stretch. Now, of course, what is very important during number three also, that when we have our knees in the bottom dancing, we would have them always relaxed, slightly flexed and relaxed. So we don't have like in the Latin dance, we don't have them stretched. So the kneecap, the kneecap will be always relaxed, soft. Depend, of course, uh, as I will repeat myself again, of the proportion of the couple, but general, for the general posture, I would like that you would all have knees slightly flexed. And during number three action, one, two, three, it is important that you don't stretch one knee. So the knee remain still in the same line, hips in the same line, shoulders in the same line. Okay, so we will do it again. I will guide you through. And one, two, three. Then we come to number four. Well, number four is very, very complicated and it takes a lot of concentration to do it correctly. Number four, I would like that you would rotate your left shoulder blade towards right hip. So what is very important? It is internal torsion. It's not external. So you actually don't see it. It is internal torsion. And it's very important that we have shoulders in the same beautiful line. So basically, I will show you Mirko. So if we have number one, number two, number three. Now, Number four, the left shoulder blade will rotate towards right hip. Yes, and what is very important, it is very important that the hip will not turn together with the shoulder blade. And it is very important that the arms don't turn together with the shoulder blade. So this beautiful internal twist has to be created only from this part. Mistakes that can happen during this exercise and the biggest one would be by rotation the shoulder blade to the right, we will lose number three, stretch to the left. So we, if we rotate shoulder blade to the right and we will start to stretch to the right, that would be disaster. So it is very important that during number four, you still maintain number three. As you see, immediately Mirko with the last action, number four, he immediately had beautiful head presentation, which gives the presentation of the left shoulder blade. Okay, so I will guide you through all four numbers and we will do it together. So one, two, three and four. We'll repeat again. One, two, three, four. Great. As you have noticed before, when you are doing all the four actions, your neck, as I showed already on Mirko, has the natural presentation. And when we are doing that, it would come up naturally stretched and in the right position. Of course, as you know, in the ballroom dancing, ladies has more shape, lady more shape than the man. So what is very important is to understand the angles of the head position. Of course, it has to be combined with the four actions that I already explained. So the head, both for the man and for the lady, from the center line has to be rotated to the left 45 degrees. If you feel it's very little, so not over 10. So the head is rotating 45 degrees to the left. Then, of course, a lady has more sway of the head plane than a man. 
So then the head would rotate 45 degrees and then would try to have a maximum sway. So this is more than that I cannot do. Of course, it is looking very strange now because I'm missing the last action. So I would rotate 45 degrees to the left, I would sway, and then I have to pull it back. So the chin goes a little bit up, not too much to make the back of the neck short. But I will try to move this part back and little bit, little bit presentation, of course, of the chin. So then it will, it become, it, it looks normal. So we, I will do immediate, first I will explain for the ladies. So I will do all the actions. One, two, three, four. And if you see my head position, so my head has moved back. This is the maximum stretch I can have from the right shoulder, but I'm not overturning the head. For the male dancers, would be the same actions. It is just, we keep the rotation of the 45 degrees. We keep the sway that is very, very subtle, very little sway. So if the lady, let's say if she's arriving to 45, it's good. Men from the zero rotation 45, 10 degrees sway, very, very little. And then of course, still presentation back. But for the man, it is crucial not to lift up the chin. So it is very important to move the top of the head a little bit backwards. So we both actually mirroring each other. So we're working like mirrors, the same actions, each the ladies' actions are more extreme. Yes, I think that uh, Edita was very clear to explain the individual posture. Now uh, we suggest you to exercise because uh, it's very important to exercise your individual posture in order to have uh, a uh, good uh, couple hold. So enjoy your practice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.